I wish to assure you that my only aim is to make the people of the Philippines happy, to place them among the most progressive countries, and to prepare them for the complete enjoyment of their liberties. I prefer a government run like hell by Filipinos to a government run like heaven by Americans. I have always adhered to the principle of pursuing my convictions, even at the risk of losing popularity and power. I would rather be called a good citizen than the president of any country. I believe in government by the people, but the people must learn to discipline themselves and control themselves so that they can control and direct their own government. The Sovereign Voluntary Path to Cheerfulness If your sovereign voluntary path be real, is to sit down and count your blessings. Those who have less in life should have more in law. The real asset of any advanced nation is its people, especially the educated ones. And the prosperity and success of the people are measured by the standard of their education. A self-respecting nation is ready for anything, including war, except for a renunciation of its honor and soul. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. I would rather die a meaningful death than to live a meaningless life. The best way to predict the future is to create it. We may have different religions, different languages, different colored skin, but we all belong to one human race. The essence of leadership is not just to find and articulate a vision, it is to bring that vision into reality. The Filipino is worth dying for. When I say I will do it for my country, I will do it. If I have to die for my country, I will die. We must learn to be honest with ourselves. We cannot have an honest government if we do not have an honest citizenry. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.